Hello, there's a friend of mine who uh, works over at my ISP, um, speakeasy.net. I have uh, business broadband and voice over IP, it's really cool. But um, anyway, um, been having a little bit of line problems and, and such. Uh, the uh, levels coming in aren't what they should be and it's caused a few dysfunctions. And we're trying to check that out. Um, I was explaining to him what one of the possibilities uh, might actually be as this is really really stupid because where all the uh, the lines come together and oh look here's a squirrely and he's actually a part of my explanation even though uh, it might not be entirely obvious as to why right now but we're about to get there anyway you see the physical network is still owned by AT&T even though my ISP is uh, speakeasy because um, they own the, uh, the physical lines on, on the poles and stuff, so it's their techs that uh, have to take care of it when there's a problem. Um, AT&T used to have these metal boxes up on the poles that all these lines would go into, so um, weather couldn't get to it until, the, until or unless the box started rotting out, and um, birds and squirrels and things couldn't get into it. Well, AT&T, in their lack of any sort of infinite wisdom at all, decided to be a bunch of cheap bastards and they're like oh well these stupid plastic slips are um, less expensive than these metal boxes so we're gonna save a lot of money um, by using this cheap plastic garbage instead well sometimes you get what you pay for and when you decide to be a cheap ass you end up spending more money in the long run because on um, these things weather gets into the wires very easily um, squirrels get into it easily, birds get into it easily, and these repair guys, just for one hour of their service, um, they gotta pay them more than one of these uh, stupid boxes is gonna cost. So, um, this, this plastic slip thing kind of reminds me of a, a big black uh, penis that's up there on the phone line, and I'm actually about to zoom in on this. There's, a, there, there's the big penis, and there's a bunch of little penises, and I'm gonna see how good of a shot I can get. There's a big penis right there. Um, you can see it. It's the uh, the black obvious slip thing with all the wires just loosely hanging out of it. Those wires would have been nice and safe and contained in a in a box, but um, as you can see, the uh, plastic um, weathers and tears off pretty easily. The underside, I don't know how clear of a view this is going to be, but the underside is completely and totally exposed. I can even see all the little wires to such an extent that I can see their colors. I can see there's a green one, there's a, a, a yellow one, an orange one, and it's pretty ridiculous. This is completely exposed to the elements because uh, at and is a bunch of cheap assholes. Um, they pay for it later though. Now, as you, you might be able to see, hopefully, there's uh, smaller little little uh, testicles to accompany the penis there. They're the, uh, they, they look like little little black balls of, uh, of duct tape uh, or glorified uh, electrical wire. You can see, well, hopefully you can see, I can see it pretty clearly, that some of this shit is stripping so badly that it's flapping in the wind. You can actually see it flapping in the wind. Well, I can see it anyway. Hopefully it comes out clearly um, for this video. But you can actually see this flapping in the wind. And it is so ridiculous. And, you know, you look all the way up, you can see some of the wires are exposed. Um, this is not a good situation. And AT&T is a bunch of cheap assholes. Okay, so ends this video.